All right, I'm back on my freaking shenanigans. We are playing some murder mystery Honest. kind of thing. I'm um, Forrest already. Nash, the uh, rootness tootness man all over the airwaves of this small suburban town. Uh, anywho, what we are, are a radio for? announcer and it's we are going to play the, the news. The Gallows Creek. The news of the town of Gallows Creek is brought to you by Fanny's Firearms. With a wide range of small caliber handguns, we put the pop in moment pop. Yeah, nice, good stuff. Tonight we bring you the shocking revelation that a convicted maniac is on the loose. Having escaped from the local penitentiary, the local sheriff, who is just weeks from retirement, has urged the public to follow his example by staying inside and locking their doors. A killer prowls our streets tonight, listeners. Stay safe. Stay inside. I'll have more on the hour. Killer Frequency. I love it. Just Killer Frequency. That's what we're playing. Six. The Scream. Whoa. Our switchboard is on fire. Hell I've yeah. I've never seen this many incoming calls. All right, you're up. Press the mic button on the radio desk. Okay, we're going to listen to... Oh. Well, that was a local bulletin breaking the story that some nutbags on the loose. Some nutbag! Maybe, maybe they're a fan of the show. <laughs> uh, well, you know who our listeners are. <laughs> Both of them. Anyway, All it's time two. to take our first call of the night. Good. Now, take a call by pressing Let one of the buttons on the switchboard. Let me do it. Please. Ugh. You're tuned to 189.16 The Scream. You're live on air. What are we talking about tonight? Hey there, I was just driving down to Kilkenny Avenue, heading towards the Coast House Highway, making my way home after a successful visit to the big Betamax sales conference. I have oh, Betamax sales conference! Anyway, as I'm driving, I noticed that the tank is completely empty. Thankfully, I see a sign for gas. I pull Catch a ride! Why do you know? There's nobody around. Wow. Inside, so it's again, midnight. I my guy, it's midnight in the 80s. No duh. Be hey, careful out there, been man. Have you listening? Haven't you heard the news? There's a bad guy walking around out there tonight. Be safe. It's not safe outside. Bloody please. I just need to get home. Okay. I've already tried calling every number I know. You're also so easy to remember. That jingle is catchy. And do, 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 do. Nice. Can you help me? Well, let's just say I'm more than happy what? to help you uh, get a sweet deal on a video cassette recorder. Ooh. I think you should help him, especially with that creep prowling around out there. And who turns down a sweet deal on a new VCR, right? That's true. Um, what can you uh, see? Okay, then. Tell me, what can you see around you? Well, let's see. He's going to hang up on I'm him. Outside the Click. Oh. Weird looking guy, sort of take a hike. Hey, pal, take a walk. Okay. Four houses. Just, just go, just go. You know, don't even, don't even ask my advice. Don't even Helping assume I can help. Salespeople is not part of our regular Salespeople. Program, but we like to do all we can to please our listeners. I'm gonna play something for you right now. Stay tuned. Okay. All right, we're gonna play uh, Sweet Emotion. Let's see. All right. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. He somehow get gas for his car. All right. Well, He's heading down Kilkenny Avenue. A couple of different things. Of houses. Can someone inside one of those houses? All right. Help so perhaps? house one, two, three, four. One. Everything's in we're this room, so it's kind of cool. Sit back at your desk. I, hope away from that I wanna the preemptively right open this. So I played back. up a little bit. I wanna open that, that way I'm not kinda fumbling around in the dark for it. Cause that literally took me forever. Alright. What do we have this here? The telephone Phone book. The town. Mr. Bell, Mr. Carpenter, Mr. Jackson, Mrs. Smdrode. Bateman's Rentals, don't forget you return your tapes. Okay, what else we got in here? Lockers, folders. This is Bob's locker. 
It's locked. Uh, I don't even know. You know, just for chuckles, 1987. This is Bob's locker. 19... It's locked. 19... 87... Did that work? Nope. Did not work. All right, what is this? The only gas station. Bell's gas Creek. station. Arthur Bell. Oh, that means that's his gas this station. Is the telephone directory. Mr. Town. Arthur Bell. So he's number house three. House third, three, third house. We have a caller, Perfect. Hit the mic button when you're ready to go on air. Let's slap this bitch. Welcome back, listeners. Come Looks on, like baby. Let's help this boy. on the line. Let's find out what they want to talk about tonight. Okay. That's true. Okay, I'm on Kill Kenny. I'm stood in front of the four houses. Hey, buddy, I told you. Oh, my God. Damn weirdo followed me all the way here. Okay. All right, any idea what I should do? House number three, my friend. Door number three. I believe the guy who runs the gas station lives there. All Perfect. Right. Well, I'll show up. He's home. Yeah, me and me both. still following me. Kill him. Good. I need to use your gas station. Well, darn, he just threw the keys right at me. Turn the lights <laughs> off again. Okay, right. you've got what you needed. Now head back to the gas station, and if I were you, I'd stick to the main road <sighs> and keep an eye out for that weirdo. Well, speaking of main roads, I walked all the way down Kilcanny Avenue, only to find the darn roads closed. I mean... Remember, I'm heading towards Coast House Highway. Uh. Okay. Okay, I'll let you know. I got you, man. Hey, this is not tourist information, friend. Sweet deal, my ass. I don't even Whoa. own a TV. Hey, man. Despite what you're hearing, I assure you this is the area's only late night radio phone in. We'll be Ooh. back after some more music. He's at the gas station. He wants to get to the Coast House right. Highway. He said the first crossroads he'll come to is Kilkenny and Woodland. So he's right Let's there. The nerve of that guy. Hey, maybe he'll run into that creep and we won't have to deal with him. Oh my god. Jeez, what am I saying? All right, so kind of just... your desk when you want to take the next call. Kind of just shove these in the way over here. Perfect. Let's hope this works. Course, Otherwise, this man's to toast. Away. Okay, listeners, we're back. We're and back hey, look, with someone's more pain. Get through. Oh boy, I wonder who it could be. Should we find out? Sure. Hey, you picked up. I knew you would. <laughs> you know, you have a very trustworthy voice. Anyway, I got the car gassed up and I'm on my way. Good. Right, I'm sitting at Kilcanny and Woodlands. Which way do I turn? Uh, left. You want to take a left. Myers and Woodlands. Myers and Woodlands. Y'all still there? Which way do I go? Bang a right. Okay, so at the crossroads, you want to take a right. Okay, here we go. I see the sign for the highway. Thanks, pal. You're a real lifesaver. I got you. So long, Gallows Creek. Maybe I'll skip the conference next year. But Wise. Hey, you ever in the market for a nice new VCR? You call me, okay? Okay. Thanks, well, work, Forrest. I saved well, how the about day. That, listeners, not your usual type of caller, but happy ending nonetheless. Hot damn! A traveling home entertainment salesman, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, we all want escapism, right? Especially when it yes. means an escape from certain death. <laughs> okay, what do we have now? God. Forrest, we have another caller on the line. Okay. Caller, you're live on one eight nine sixteen. The scream, talking to me. Get Forrest out, Forrest Nash. What do you want to say tonight? Let's say that's a you problem. Majorly creepy guy keeps walking past the window and looking in at me. I think it might be the guy from the news report. I'm the guy from the news report. It's me. 
And so you decided to call a late night talk show? Yes. No, I tried calling the sheriff's office. Nobody is picking up. Listen, I am seriously freaking out here. My little brother is in the hospital. I need to get there hmm. and make sure he's safe. I'll be safe there too. They have security guards. She With guns really and gun boats. We need to help this girl. Boat guns. Uh, you're going to have to run. You think you could have run him? Okay. I need help finding the hospital. And my mind is all over the place. I need to Bang a left. I think there's another phone near the library's entrance. Okay. I'll head there and call you back. But please, be ready to tell me which way to go when I make a break for it. Left. You go left. Folks, you're listening left. to 189.16 The Scream. I'm going to play a record for you now. And when a we record. Return, we can get a record. A record. A record. Tuned. We have a killer show lined up. Keep up the with the bottles under my desk. More than one murder on air tonight. Now go to the music and then see if you can find a way to help this girl. Uh, she said she was at the library. All you right, library. She's gonna go left to Chokesville to Terrace and then bang and her way up to the hospital. Up. Sounds good. All right. Well, when you're ready to take another call, sit back at your desk. I'm sitting. Well, let's hope she calls back. We have a caller on the line. Perfect. When you're ready to go, go left. Away. We're back and All ready right. to take another We're back call. with the, the greatest radio station in the, the world, W728, the meme. W721, the scream. The Keemstar. Keemstar takes a. <laughs> Go left. Get outside and turn left. Go. Okay. I'm going to make a break for the hospital. I have this bad feeling that they lock the doors after midnight. Just bang Clean on the doors. Break the glass. Bang, 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 bang. I'll call you. Ooh, girl. Hello. Spooky. You're still listening to 189.16 The Scream, keeping you safe from crazed psychopaths and bringing you the old timey hits. Yeehaw. We'll be right back. Don't touch that dial. Okay. She said she didn't think she'd be able to get into the hospital. Hmm. <clears throat> Surely there's another way in. There we go. Perfect. I think I've seen something about that somewhere. And when you're ready to take another call, I don't. Sit back at your desk. This is the well, telephone to the town. I don't know how the hell they get into the hospital. That's my problem. All right, we're gonna kind of wing it. Hit the mic button when you're ready to go. Good luck. We're back for our next thrilling next installment. Thrilling Let's installment. Let's get right in the news. Hello, I'm uh, I'm at the payphone just outside the hospital. He followed me here. Followed me. Oh my god. <sighs> Why would anybody be on the desk? Please tell me what to do. Ring the buzzer. Okay, listen to me. I know this sounds crazy, but keep calm and ring the buzzer. There should be a night porter there. Oh let god, let's hope there's a night porter. I can see the button. Here goes nothing. I can see someone coming to the door. Good. The heck? Ha <laughs> sounds like she made it. Good for her. Good. Good to my boss. If you're listening, pal, that is how you keep an audience alive. Hell this yeah. This is 189 The Scream. Great conversations, great tunes, great escapes. Amazing Monkey escape. Job. I think our show just came off life support. Good. Okay, our listeners are counting on us tonight. Let's both try and keep it together. Take, take the take next call. And when you're ready... Take the next call. Caller, you're live on air. Now, I know things are a little crazy out there tonight, so just let me say I hope you're calling from somewhere safe. Anyway, what do you want to talk about? Uh... You sound a little out of breath there. Let me tell you, it's not exactly the best night to be out jogging.
still on air? No. no I think you tried Don't to cut care. The power, but How is she talking to me? How is this on? <laughs> How is anything on? To himself than us. He probably you know, fried himself. Me local radio is where you probably to dead. Die. I thought they were just talking about my career. Nope. But anyway, Being literal. at least try and get the lights back on. Well, Everything do do is I'm your literal. Friendly neighborhood radio personality, not your local electrician. There's I'm your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Do -do -do -do. The door to it may be locked, but the keys are with you in the studio somewhere. And that's why I opened the door. All right, so let me see here. Three, one, four, Good two. Good job, Mr. Nash. Talk show host, emergency Electric responder, handyman. Andy. Now it's time Andy to get back man. see if we have any listeners left. All right, we're back up and running. And hey, look at that. Somebody's waiting on the line. Cool. Let's hope it isn't that creep again. Just treat it like any other call. Whenever you're ready, Forrest. Okay. Caller, you're through to me, Forrest Nash on 189.16 to scream. It's past midnight. What would you like to talk about? Hello, sir. I'm Death. the control manager at the town's radio shed. We only sell the best audio-visual equipment. Okay. I'm doing a little bit of late-night stock-taking, and of course, our radios are always tuned to your show, and well, that news report had me just a, just a little bit of perturb, I could say. Safe inside. Well, you're safe inside, right? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Ah, uh, yes, well, uh, the thing is, uh, there's a rather large uh, person who has been pounding on the door, and I'm getting no answer from our good sheriff. Sweet! Now, I've turned off all the lights and I'm hiding behind the counter. Me. But every time I make a sound, uh... Ooh. He starts breaking Whoa. down the door. And uh, it's almost like he's attracted to noise, I would say. Radio Shed is like the only place in town that sells radios. We need to help this guy. What? What can he see What's around? nearby, guy? Kind of can you can throw you anything? Watch. Can you is beat him with anything? Can, can you see, eat uh, his butt? I'm under the counter near the door. There's a stack of uh, TVs right next to the counter. There's also the tape decks on the aisle behind me, I think. Hmm. The radios are right in the back of the store. Oh, oh, and uh, there's a server bell on top of the counter. Knock, knock. Coming in. Be inside any minute now. Uh, Come in. Uh, you have any bright ideas? Uh... Go turn the hey, radio on. I got an on idea. One of those radios at the back of the store. I have an idea. Alrighty. Uh, let me just go uh, and uh, do that now. Uh, well, uh, well, it's on now. It's tuned to your station. Over to you. Okay, Forrest. Now call the creep over. Hey, ugly. Oh no! Please don't, don't hurt, hurt me. me. Ah, it works. I'm, uh, I'm gonna make a rip for it now. Okay, show's over. Time to wrap it up. It's 1 a.m., we are out of callers, and we're out of time. It's now 1 a.m. in our sleepy little town. We made it. We yep. made it through the witching hour, folks. You've been tuned to 189.16 The Scream, and you've been listening to me, Forrest Nash. I want to say thank you to all our callers tonight, and to all our listeners. Pleasant dreams, and good night. You hear that? I think I hear sirens. Finally, someone's coming to the rescue. I say give it a few minutes, and we'll be safe to leave. Uh... Oh man, do I need a drink. Say, you want to join me? Sure, whatever you want to do. Oh my lord, what a night. I can't believe that just happened. Horace? Oh my god! She's dead! All my people survived too. Hot damn. Anywho, this has been, uh. Something else. I'm assuming this game is gonna be a lot longer later down the road. But for now, that's gonna be it. Oh, look at that. Phil Brown. You beautiful person. Love the art, love the design. Kevin, doing great. Phil Brown, my man. Finley, hell yeah. Anywho, bye guys.